Hello. I have been doing a little bit more tidying and I came upon the Commodore MPS 1250 printer. I did. So, firstly, we need power. And now that I think of it, there is no power here. Just a moment. Alright. Now we have a little power. Well, it does wake up. Here's a ribbon on it. I've had great luck with ribbons lately. If you were watching the MPS 801 experiments, you know that I took two maybe ribbons that might have someday been helpful and managed to mostly kill them both. This one Trying to get it down between the head. What's going on here? Golly. Maybe this is why. Oh, maybe it's there. Maybe this is right. I've not been fond of printers. Um, and here's something funny here. I know these things go with this printer. I know they do. They're plastic. They're Commodore colors. Um, I just can't figure out how they go on. The way it looks like they would go on, the tractor feed um, won't let them. Uh, well, let's turn this on again and see. Okay, paper. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can convince it. There's sometimes a button that we push. to do its checking thing. That didn't seem to do anything. Oh. And I don't see anything that would switch it between devices like the other I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's part of this printer or not. That's mighty strange. So... So, so far, all this printer wants to do just tell me that the paper is out. Well, this is true. Oh no, the paper is out. This, by the way, is a combination of oh dear. combination between it still says that the paper is out. It's a friction and a tractor feed. I wonder where a 
Oh god. Do you remember what I told you about people winding labels backwards and getting them stuck? closer to the side and see if it will tell me that there is well, she also has paper out uh, funny, I still think it should be Resetting. What is that? Or something. Perhaps I will have to look up more about this fine, fine printer. Let me just see here. If there's anything that would give me any hints. This, by the way, it has. Commodore ports, or port, as well as the, I think it's called the Centronics port. Let's see what comes out. <coughs> Just dust. Huh. Well, so far, this seems to respond, sort of. Because this can take both kinds of paper, I'm going to go over here. This is an old call sheet from the show called Copper. How do I know this? Because some of the time, Way back when, when they were doing this show, I was a background person. So, it's not going to tell me that the papers are all oh, yeah, But it can't be. Alright, I'm going to move it a little farther over. Paper out. My little old boy would say, makes no sense. Well, one thing I can do, as I have a Commodore 64 here, I can plug in, usually, most devices, when connected, will have some reaction when the mothership is turned on. But not this one. Hmm. Well, strange. I'm just trying to get it to do its self-test, which is not going well. So this might be
because the printer is not seeming to be working. Doesn't mean that I'm going to give up on it. Oh no no no. But for the moment, I still wish I knew how these things were on. Anyway, if you know anything about... Ah! I seem destined, oh god, to ruin most any ribbon I get my hands on. But I don't know why. Oh, I wonder. I forget. It has been a long time since I have looked at one of these. But I think the cover, typically, comes off without any great fanfare. Because I think I might see something. I might see something jammed inside. What I said, about the cover not being difficult, disregard, there seems to be a little thing I could push here. pieces inside. This thing, I don't know what this thing is. It doesn't really look like it's part of it. I'll leave it in the front. I'll put that on. Here is the tractor feed. Somehow. Do you remember I said I really didn't? I don't think I have a lot of printers. It's because I. Maybe it's just because I'm just not fond of them. What is going on here? This thing came out so easy. Ah! Uh. Feet in, pieces in, power out, and so oh, our epic adventure with the MPS 1250 comes to an end. What have we learned? Nothing. Not a damn thing. plan comes together. This was not one of those moments. It was not. So, oh, this call sheet is from, wow, 2013. find something interesting here. It's possible. Uh, 
On this day, there were 16 extras. Hmm. You know, I think... One of the greatest games ever on... Well, I, I'm assuming it was on other machines, but certainly on the Commodore 64, was Mule. And here is the infectious music for Mule. And if this, if, if you ever played Mule, this should bring back fond memories. Sorry, I'm just replacing a light bulb. At least that's the plan. Oh. Shit. Well. That went well. Uh, perhaps I, uh, uh, Just dropped uh, an LED light bulb. It didn't break, I'm sure. Here's one that should be interesting. I really, really, really want to retrieve this light bulb. So, oh, I, I don't know if you find this entertaining, but I do not. I was not successful in getting the light bulb.
Alright. I just stole another light bulb from another lamp. And I'm going to try again. I think I will be successful this time. I'm getting a little closer. There. I would like to think I will be successful. Hello. Yes. That was almost successful. <sighs> Almost successful. Okay. Flight. So, um, so and so the mule saga continues. Um, by the way, if you've never, oh, huh, if you've never had a chance to play the mule, it is worth it. Anyway, um, this, uh, MPS 1250 experiment has not gone well. Um, why should today be any different? I will keep you posted on the printer. Until we meet again. Bye for now.